Kentucky House Majority Leader Stephen Rudy is spearheading the change to how the Commonwealth would fill any U.S. Senate vacancies. The law was changed for the first time in 2021, taking away the governor's sole authority to name a replacement. He now has to choose from a list of three people selected by the party of the outgoing senator. House Bill 622 strips that power away and moves right to a special election if there is a vacancy. This would simply treat a vacancy in the U.S. Senate as the same as a vacancy in the General Assembly, a vacancy in the United States Congress. Governor Bashir is firing back at another proposed change to his powers. It's all about party. And they would likely switch it back the moment that a, a, a governor of a different party came in. That is not what we should be doing. People are exhausted about the, the back and forth. Rudy argues the current law is much more partisan, and this new proposal gives more people a say. This will allow both sides to nominate somebody, and it will not have one person pick who a United States senator is. But, I mean, there's only so quick you can move into that because there has to be time for candidates to gather signatures and get themselves uh, on the ballot, and there has to be time for the voters to know that there's an election. NKU Law Professor Ken Katkin says under the new House bill, Kentucky could go longer without a senator when there's a vacancy. On the one hand, you want continuity of government. So, you know, Kentucky wants to be represented in the United States Senate. And if we're down one senator, we've only got half the representation of every other state. Um, on the other hand, it, it matters a lot to everybody, whether that's a Democrat or a Republican. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.